Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you the essential features to start editing your videos in iMovie. Let's start! So first thing you will want to do is open your iMovie and then this will appear the blank window and you will click create new and we will create new movie. Now you will notice that there are quite a few different panels here. Um, the first one is just your library, the media. Um, this is going to be the imported, um, all the clips and audio and this is going to be your timeline and this will be where you can preview your video. Now the nice thing about iMovie is that you never need to save your files. Actually if you go to your toolbar on the top you will see that there's no save button because iMovie does it automatically for you already. Now that you created a new project, you will want to import your media into this project. One way to do that is by clicking file in the toolbar and click import media. Another different way for you to do that is by using your keyboard shortcut command plus I together. Or the easiest way to do it is to go into your finder and just drag and drop your media in this um, section right here. Now that I have my video, I will drag it into my timeline and here it is. I could have also just from my finder directly just dragged this video into my project right here. So those both work. Now you will notice that the clip can feel a little bit small. So in order for you to magnify it, you can click on this cursor right here and make it larger. You can also use your trackpad on your computer and just do the gesture for zooming in and zooming out. And then to move through your enlarged clip, you can use the little cursor on the bottom or just drag with two fingers to the left and to the right on your trackpad. You will notice that there's a white line moving over the clip. This is called the playhead. To play the clip on your timeline, just simply click where you want it to start and press space button and press space button again to pause to cut the clip into more parts you can split the clip to do that set the playhead wherever you want your clip to be split and then use a shortcut on your keyboard command plus b and now you will see that i have created two separate clips once you have split the clip, you can then delete the excess footage by clicking on the, cli on the clip and just press delete button right here. If you want to undo this action, just press command and Z and the clip will come back. Now, another very useful feature for um, editing your video is trimming. So let's say right here at the very beginning, I don't want this whole part, I just want my dog to be right here on the couch already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag my cursor over the edge here and you will notice that two arrows appear and now I can just drag left or right to make the clip shorter or longer. So my clip starts from right here right now. And I can do the same thing with all the other clips. Now let's say I would want to copy and paste this clip. I can use my shortcut on the keyboard, command C to copy, and then I set my playhead right here and press command V to paste right here. Now you can always import more media to your project from your finder. Anything from videos to pictures, audio and graphics, so what you can do again, just go to your finder and just drag and drop them into your project right here. 
and I'm going to then add them to the video. Now let's say I would like to have some audio with my video right here. So again, I can go into my finder and just drag it right here and I could add it to my timeline this way. Now iMovie comes actually with a lot of sound effects and some music already. So if you just click right here on audio and then you can choose from iLife sound effects. You have all sorts of from animals, sports, people, you have different sound effects here as well. You can search through those and just click on it and drag it into your timeline. You can also use music from here and it just called theme music. So there are different sort kinds and you can again just drag and drop. I actually created a separate video on how to edit and import audio into your iMovie. So please check that one out. I'm going to now move to titles right here. Titles are helpful if you want to add text in your video and the text can be added into the video. I'm going to just drag and drop on top of the clip. So now you will notice that there's text right here. What I can also do is drag this title in front of the clip, for example, right here. Now, if I want to change the text of my titles, I double click on the title layer and then start editing. And I'm going to just write dog video. And here it is. Now with this, I can change the font. I can change the size of my text. I can also change the alignment, whether it's in the middle. And I can also change the type and the color of my text as well. Now let's say I like this font, but I don't like the black background. So I can actually go to backgrounds and change the background. I'm going to go to change it to pinstripe. So I'm just going to put it right here. Now what I can do is just drag this title on top of it. And now you will see that I changed the background of my text. The next very useful tool are the transitions. They're useful between the different clips. So you have smoother transitions, or if you have like right here, you have this just kind of like weird cut. What I can do is first just drag my mouse over the transitions to see the preview of what they would look like. Now, just an advice, make sure that you use the transitions sparingly. Don't overuse them. Don't make every transition in your video different. Just see what naturally fits into your video and then use that. To place a transition, you can just click on it and drag and drop it between the two clips. Now you will see when I play it, you have a smoother, nice and transition. If you want to change the duration of your transition, you can double click on it and just change the duration. Before we wrap up this video, I would like to show you some video editing effects that iMovie offers. You will find all the video editing effects right up here. So let me just go to maybe this picture right here. And the first one is color balance tool. So you can use that to adjust the color balance. The second one is the color correction tool. What you can do here is adjust the exposure, the contrast. You can just change it to a full black and white, for example. You can change also the saturation. The next tool is the cropping tool. So right now you will notice that the way that my picture looks like on the video is kind of like moving. And the way I can change it is with the cropping tool. So right now it's set to Ken Burns and the picture starts here and ends right here. Now what you can do is you can move these windows around to adjust where it starts and ends. 
What you can also do is just fit your picture to the full screen or you can crop to fill it. So you just move the window around and now this would be the part of the photo that appears in the video. There it goes. Another useful video editing effect is stabilization. You can click on this camera and you can click stabilize shaky video and then adjust how much you want it to adjust. The volume tool is um, discussed more in the video on how to edit the audio, so please check that out. Next, the audio editor tool is useful if you have some talking and you want to reduce some background noise. Another useful tool is the speed tool, what it allows you you have some variety of options for your video. You can change your video into a slow motion. You can make it faster. You can do freeze frame. Um, and you can also reverse your clip here. The last video editing tool is filters. This one, some people really like. I don't use it often. You have all sorts of different tool, different filters that you can add to your video. You are finished editing your video, so you will want to export the video. The way you can do that is go to File in your toolbar and then click Share and click File. What you can also do is you can click on the top right corner, you have a Share button, so you can click on it and press File and you can rename it, dog movie, and click next, and then find where on your computer this will save. Now you will notice that there's a circle here that it's now filling up, and that means that that's the progress of how much of your video was exported. Now I use iMovie on a daily basis. The video that you're watching right now was all edited and created in iMovie. I find it to be amazingly simple to use but also very powerful and it helps me create just these really professional looking videos. That's it for me. Thank you all for watching and just let me know if you have any other questions. Just put them in the comment section below.